Good morning, everyone. My name is Shen He from Nokia Bell Labs. Uh, today is my honor to be invited to this event. I believe you already received a comprehensive introduction from uh, our colleagues by previous uh, excellent presentations about 1M2M. So uh, in this session, I would like to introduce the latest progress about uh, international collaboration between 1M2M and ITUT especially about ITUT Y.4500 series. So uh, ITU is the United Nations Specialized Agency for Information and Communication Technologies. The motivation for ITUT Study Group 20 is to lead the study of uh, developing recommendations, reports, handbooks, guidelines about IoT and smart cities and the communities. The target is to uh, collect uh, requirements use cases from closed and unconnected vertical silos or functionality between different uh, service providers and try to figure out the common part in order to provide standardization, to provide you know, innovative and collaborative new models that connect these vertical silos. And study group 20 is the leading study group to address Internet of Things and its applications, smart cities and communities, including e-services and smart services, as well as IoT identifications. This slide shows the ITUT study 20 structure. So in this study period, there are seven questions under the umbrella of two working parties in study group 20. Question one is uh, about end-to-end -end connectivities, interoperability, big data aspects. Question two is about requirement capabilities and use cases across verticals. Question three addresses study about IoT and smart city architectures, management, verticals, and QS. Question four, mainly focusing on e-services, applications, platforms. In working party two, question five is the leading question to study type terminologies and definitions. Question six address uh, studies about security, privacy, trust, and identification for IoT and smart cities. Question seven is uh, focusing on evaluation and assessment of uh, smart cities and communities. Besides of that, we also have four regional groups, sorry, uh, and other group under study group 20, including the JCA IoT and the focus group on data processing and management. Currently, study group 20 is working on many hot topics in IoT and smart cities. In IoT area, it includes such as drones or UAV for IoT, edge computing, artificial intelligence, smart manufacturing, blockchain, and IoT for developing countries, ITS based on IoT technologies, privacy and trust for IoT systems, as well as interoperability. In the perspective of smart cities and communities, uh, we study um, open data in smart cities, use cases requirement, smart services, disaster, as well as other smart city related services, and smart city infrastructure. So in the focus group, especially, it delivered the study about uh, data structure and data transfer protocol and function description and metadata for smart city and the community, as well as data integrity. So with the leading role about IoT and smart cities in ITUT, study group 20 is doing good on strengthening regional and international collaborations. Uh, we have four regional groups, so, as well as the GCA IoT and smart city and community meetings. 
the good example to collaborate with the international SDOs, including the collaboration with the 1M to M, ISO and IEC. So today, with this chance, I would like to introduce the uh, progress about the collaboration between ITOT Stack 20 and 1M to M. So this is the basic introduction about 1M1. I believe you already uh, captured the introduction from previous presentations, so I would skip this one. So uh, this is the collaboration mechanism between 1M to M and ITOT Study Group 20. The collaboration between 1M to M and ITOT Study Group 20 was initiated in July 2015, which is from last study period. And after the collaboration initiated, uh, we create a good uh, collaboration between liaison statements. So uh, many liaison statements sent out uh, by 1M to M to ITUT Study Group 20, as well as Study Group 20 to 1M to M. And Study Group 20 also nominated uh, uh, liaison reporters to help the uh, collaborations between both organizations. And 1M to M also uh, uh, invited to give presentations at ITOT Study Group 20 meeting. So uh, the a very good uh, meeting, colloquial meeting, was hosted by ITOT Study Group 20 in January 2018. At that meeting, a joint session was hosted successfully uh, between 1M to M experts as well as uh, ITOT Study Group 20 uh, experts. So with those uh, successful collaboration mechanism, so in this study period, uh, we are doing good to produce this YTOT Y.4500 series, which is the transportation from 1M to M technical specifications into ITOT recommendations, as well as uh, 1M to M technical report into ITOT technical reports. The benefit from uh, a benefit for this collaboration is obvious because membership from both organizations have been calling for convergence of IoT standards and alignment of work. And the work done in both organizations is com uh, complementary. And one of the ITOT strategic objective is cooperation and collaboration. And 1M2M also working on the 1M2M global standard for IoT and M2M. So the motivation from both sides is aligned. And based on this collaboration, the industry members and member states from both organizations, they can benefit from uh, converge and align standards. So by the end of 2019, 17 1M to M specifications are approved as ITOT recommendations, which is the Y.4500 uh, series, and six 1M to M technical reports approved as ITOT technical reports. So currently, discussion is going on for next tech collaboration. So this slide shows the details about this good achievement. So basically, more than 90% of technical specifications of 1M to M release tool is are approved as uh, ITOT recommendations, which including 1M to M function architecture, core protocol requirements, um, based ontology, terminology, and protocol binding, including MQTT, CoAP, HTTP. WebSocket, as well as a home appliances information model and mapping, and OMA management enablement and BBF management enablement. At the same time, six uh, technical reports agreed as uh, ITOT technical reports, including the industry domain enablement, uh, use cases collection, and a group of uh, developer guidance. So this is the good result for this collaboration. You can check details from the uh, ITOT website. So I would like to highlight the concept or the motivation for this uh, international standardization collaborations. Because nowadays, there are many 
HDOs or many alliances focus on different topics in IoT world as well as M2M. So uh, for application or for service level, maybe standardization is uh, difficult to realize as well as verticals, but from a platform and uh, interoperability perspective, we believe the standardization is still necessary to realize the big scenarios such as smart cities and communities. So the wish of uh, the standardization people is to break silos, not to create a new one. So this is our target and this is our motivation to contribute to this uh, collaboration between both sides. So basically, this is uh, my uh, presentation. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.